Okay, so my name is Kevin Williams. I'm the head of research ship engineering for National Marine Facilities. Every ship has a refit once a year at, at NOC. Um, there's a five year period of uh, statutory requirements where the certification is renewed. Uh, this is the 10 year special dock in, so uh, this will be the renewal of the certification. Work being done this time will be the propulsion units. Uh, all propulsion units will be overhauled and inspected. The hull will be inspected. Um, that's why we need the dry dock. Uh, as you can see, she's uh, looking a bit tired at the moment, so it will have a new full coat of paint. Um, and yeah, pretty much get it back to normal. Pretty much the, dry, the, the vessel will go into the dock and uh, will rest on some dock blocks. Uh, the water will be pumped out of the block, out of the dock and so the vessel will be high and dry and that's when we do all the work to the underwater side of the hull. The refit will take place in Ross Scythe in Scotland. Uh, it's the first time it'll be done by Babcocks so it's an exciting challenge. Refits are complicated. Uh, there's always challenges. It's pretty much trying to foresee what those problems are going to be and, and having a plan for resolution. Um, there's no one refit that goes to plan. There's always going to be issues, uh, but it's, it's how, you, how you deal with the challenge. My name is Antonio Gatti. Uh, my role on board Discovery is the captain, so I'm responsible for the safety of everybody on board and all the equipment. Discovery is what we describe as an ocean-class uh, research vessel, which means we can work anywhere within the, in the world, uh, from north to south, any ocean, deep water, shallow water, so she's a fully capable modern research vessel. Uh, we're very similar to our sister vessel, the James Cook, here at uh, NOC as well. Uh, these vessels have worked in worldwide with different groups of scientists and different disciplines. Geology, chemistry, biology, oceanography. We can adapt the ship to whatever the science wants and where they want to go. Yes, yeah, so the Discovery itself is, is basically a floating laboratory. We have um, different kinds of laboratories with different disciplines. Uh, generally, when people set up for their science expedition, they'll bring their equipment and we can adapt to sh the ship uh, to, to satisfy their needs. Uh, the equipment we have on board, we can deploy a whole range of uh, scientific support equipment over the side, taking uh, air samples or water samples. Uh, basically, a lot of the equipment comes from our National Marine Equipment Pool based here in uh, Southampton. The ship itself we're fix, fixed with a swath bathymetry system where we can do 3D mapping of the ocean floor, uh, very useful for the scientists. And the si ship is also fitted with a dynamic positioning system. This ma helps to maintain the ship in an exact spot within a couple of meters of position. So when the scientists want to take samples, especially the geologists, uh, core samples in an exact position, we can hold the ship there without any problems. Yes, yeah, so uh, this year Discovery's got, uh, again, she's going worldwide. So following refit, there are a couple of trials periods. Uh, the first trials will be a post refit, so testing uh, the work that's been done during refit. And then also with uh, Mars, we have some auto sub trials uh, in June as well. The vessel then will be going up to uh, the Svalbard area, north of Norway from Tromsø, uh, working with uh, Knock Liverpool. But then also we're going across to Canada, working in Canada. And then towards the end of the year, we're heading towards the Southern Ocean again, but uh, this time we're working out of Cape Town, South Africa. After following the refit, there's maybe not a physical feeling, but certainly looking around with the painting, the maintenance, she looks a bit fresher, feels that kind of uh, newness about her. And also, uh, you probably can, well, maybe for, not from here, but uh, we do get marine growth on the hull, that kind of thing. So we will be cleaned uh, off and repainted in the refit. So you may notice a bit of uh, difference in uh, increased performance, that kind of thing. But it's generally a feeling of freshness when you do leave a refit, yeah.